I know I had coffee around here. All right, guys. So here's what we got going on. So again, we've got books, books of leatherette that these books right here are, are the colors that, that we've specifically chosen. So these are the chosen ones, okay? We have about two more books like this of leatherette colors that are over there that have a lot more colors. I'm probably close to a hundred something colors. I mean, a lot of colors. But these are the ones that we know work that people are buying. Uh, we we want to try to be with the latest trends. So what we've done is on the website, we've started adding our collections. So we have the saddle collection, we have the vintage collection, we're gonna be dropping the carbon fiber collection, and then we're gonna have a satin collection, and then we're also going to release the denim collection. So these are just a few colors that we wanna release, but again, we're releasing colors as series collections. We don't wanna have all these random colors all over the place because personally I think that is stupid. It, it just doesn't make sense. The way we'll be releasing colors is we want everybody in the Facebook group. So Essential Print Supply is our Facebook group. Uh, E-S-E-N-T-L, you can't miss it. So we wanna get people in the group because we wanna start making decisions on colors based on what you guys need. And then we want you guys to know when certain colors are being released. And then we're also getting information as new colors are dropped through the manufacturers so that we can do stuff. But then two, we can also create custom colors based on maybe something you guys really want we can do that but it has to be ordered in bigger runs so it would take all of you guys as a, as a whole to be able to pitch in on a party and get it done so that's how that would work but this is what we're going to do and this is where you guys come into play so when we release new color series collections in some cases we're going to drop them as very limited amounts Per color so probably about 90 to 100 sheets per color and what that is going to do it's going to help us to sell those colors really fast and then as soon as we're able to sell those now we can buy the large production run of that color and have a lot more in inventory for you guys okay if there are specific colors that you think you guys might need or want in the case of the saddle collection for example it is the same as uh, other companies uh, called the heritage collection where you've got the um, the different textures of the leatherette here. So very cool collection. It's very similar to like a Latigo leather. One of my favorites, I really like it. I, it, it. It burns fantastic. It looks fantastic on a hat, even as a tag on the side. Man, it simulates leather perfectly. Uh, this one here, this is our vintage, so the vintage here, I think this is coffee, is one of my favorites. I absolutely love the vintage series. Uh, again, our leatherette's coming in at 1.80 millimeters, so it'll be the second thickest on the market compared to another company at 1.85. I think at the 1.85, it was just a little too thick. Um, you know, cool nonetheless, but compared to others that are under 1.50, I think we're gonna be a great leatherette that really simulates a five to six ounce leather thickness. So that's kind of the game of what we were doing and what we wanted to compare to was thicker leatherette patches. Cause what's the point of doing leatherette if it looks really thin and cheap? We don't want it to look thin and cheap. We wanna really simulate leather, so we went a little thicker. We're paying more for sure, but it's worth it in the end because we have a better product. We have a more quality product. Now really quick, one thing I do wanna show you guys and this is not to pick on any company, okay? We're not doing that, but rather, again, if you guys know me, Essential, you know that we compare products. We compare companies to see who's the best, who's got the best quality, uh, who's, you know, BSing when it comes to their quality. And so we've got Lone Star Adhesive with theirs. So what we're doing is we're showing the in-between layer of their product to see how easy was this to peel, okay? We've got Patch Crafters, we've got their product. We could see their product was split, so you can kind of see the inside. And we've got High Bond, their product here. So the, the, the idea is, is how easy was it to separate the middle layer? This would be the layers that are 
laminated together from the factory. Okay, what is the adhesive like that's in between? The manufacturer, what is the adhesive like that the manufacturer put in between their product? Again, this is just something I researched. I've, I haven't seen a lot of these guys really show anything like this, but we do here. And then we compared ours as well. Now, when I release that video, you're gonna see the results and you're gonna see what happened. Who was the best, who was the hardest to separate between the four. Okay, now again, we're not picking on companies, but we're just comparing, that's it. I love all them guys, There's, there, I have no issues with them at all and I, I think they're all great companies. You can't go wrong with any of them, but in the end, you as the customer, you have to make the decision of where you're gonna buy from. So when a company is able to show you all the competitors, including themselves, and, and rank, you know, where they're at, that's the key. In my opinion, what it does for my company is it tells me, okay, where can I improve? Where am I seeing uh, failure and where can I improve? And that is exactly what we've done based on my research. So we're gonna have an extremely strong product that we're releasing and that we're pretty proud of. I think you guys are gonna be really impressed with what you're buying. <laughs> so that's it. Um, also, we're gonna be offering uh, bulk rivets. We're gonna be offering the tags, like I showed you guys before. Um, you could start doing the tags. So with that being said, the good news is, is we're adding the saddle collection, uh, a, a few of the colors, as well as a white to the no foam option. These will be colors that basically don't have the foam padding on the back. What do we talk about, the no foam? These have foam, that gray smooth backing on there. You see that in between the top layer and then the black is the fiber layer. The no foam option is basically the top layer, your color layer, and the fiber layer. So there's no lamination on this. So usually when they create leatherette, this is what they get right here. And then they add the foam, they laminate the foam to this, which makes it thicker, okay? And it, the, you know, the foam will vary in certain thicknesses. But basically, the no foam option is just this. And that's great for beanies, it's great for tags on the side of your hat, and it's great for a lot of other things like keychains and whatnot. So that's been a very huge request, is that we get some cool colors in the uh, no foam option. So we're adding the best colors to start with in the no foam option. We're not, we're not offering basic cheap colors. You're gonna get the premium saddle collection in that. And then the one thing I do like about the saddle collection is it is just a little bit thicker than your normal uh, collection runs. So uh, for some reason that material just is like a few millimeters thicker, which I kind of like. I say um a lot, don't I? <laughs> so that's what you got going on there. So what we're, like I said, what we're going to be doing again, releasing short run colors in limited you know, quantities, that way you guys can, can pick them up quick and then we, we take that and we, we now turn it into a large production run uh, for those same colors. And then when we're able to do that, now we can move on to the next collection that we wanna add. So we wanna try to add as many colors as we can, as fast as we can, that way you guys can have more options in the thickness that we have and, and go from there. So the more of you that can get into the Facebook group, Essential Print Supply, uh, the better. That way we can start collaborating together. That way you guys know when releases are hidden and then you can also start referring people, start getting them involved. Just say, hey, check this guy out. This guy's doing everything that we need, right? And he's really looking out for us. Uh, also our adhesive, everything is in production. Our adhesive is in production. Our leatherette's in production, so everything is in production right now. Uh, we're adding just about nine, nine more colors to the collection of just the sample, the sample run colors. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. The denim collection, we're putting, we're adding back two more colors to the denim collection. One thing I've noticed is when it comes to leatherette, if you're not up to snuff, this is what happens. Your leatherette can separate. The adhesive here is where it fails from the manufacturer. If they don't have a good manufacturer or know what they're doing, 
that's where most likely when you're putting patches on hats especially with the leatherette is where it fails our adhesive grip tech is where you're now going to become a winner when it comes to that these products because we're able to get down to as low as 200 225 on upper heat and lower heat now when we're talking about heat we're talking about the 360 iq hotronics hat press you can get that lower heat down to like almost 275 280 on lower heat okay so the lower heat is where it's the magic is happening but because you're putting lower heat on the top you're not really burning that top layer because this is a thin layer on the top usually about 90 millimeters is where that top layer is with the fiber um, you're not burning that layer you're, you're way under so I think that's good when you have better lower heat on the top and we already showed you in my last video how that came out when it came to ripping the adhesive off of the hat the top heat and lower heat were amazing the results were fantastic and they were to me they were kind of mind-blowing that I was able to get those temperatures down that low and have that type of strength result so that's what I wanted because high heat mm -mm, no high heat is what's going to destroy and create scenarios where the top layer peels right off but we've kind of resolved that by upgrading our adhesive from the manufacturer so our in-between adhesive is, is where the magic is also happening. We have a great manufacturer. That's all I can say. And again, if it wasn't for my source in China that's able to do all the communication and make sure things are being done right, again, she could talk to them in a way that I can't. They see me, they'll take advantage of me. They'll see, they'll just see dollar signs and they'll 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 just they'll take advantage. In my opinion, that's what I feel at least, because I've seen it. I've seen when you go direct to Alibaba and you just start talking to a sales rep for a product, I've seen the comparison of what they're charging me and they're saying it's a great deal compared to what my person is getting. Man, we're talking like three times less. So they're ripping you when, when you're on Alibaba still. They're, they're ripping you. So again, it's just something that's different when their own people can communicate with them that is different compared to when I'm communicating with them. They look at me, they see dollars, they see commission. That's what they're after. They're not after giving me the best price. They're not after, you know, making sure I have the best quality, but she's able to do that. And that's where I think personally, from me to you guys, is where I have the upper hand, okay? Because I, she can communicate in ways where they're not going to take advantage of her because they're a major they're a major machine company out there a, a machine distribution company so they've got a little more pull because they're a legitimate company on top of that you know than than most most people so that is where i do have the upper hand and i appreciate every bit of it so there's some updates for you guys uh, we will be adding the new collections to the site so pay attention to that and as well Again, get into the Facebook group, guys. That way you have the updates. As soon as stuff drops, we're going to post it there. If you guys have any questions, especially if you're thinking as a company you want to buy the adhesive in pallet bulk, contact me. Let me know. Post in the comments uh, what you think about what we're doing, experiences you may have had with other companies in general, and then I'll respond and we'll create some dialogue. So once again, guys, like, subscribe. Uh, make sure, again, post in the comments, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace out.